Hello and welcome to St. Jean Vianney. If you're thinking about coming to Mass this weekend, please know you're going to need a ticket to enter the church. Our seating capacity is 250 persons. My friend Mickey and I would like to introduce you to our ticket kiosk, which is located under the covered drop-off or porta cachere for you to use at your convenience. I'd like to show you how this works. As you come to the kiosk, you'll notice that for each mass, there is a colored ticket. For instance, green at 4 o'clock, gray at 7.30, yellow 9.30, pink 11.30, and red 5.30. What you do is that you simply take a ticket like this, and now you have the ticket to get into church. It's very simple. It'll be here starting this Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it'll be open till four o'clock in the afternoon, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or until the tickets are all gone. So here we are with your ticket. Now, if you picked it up earlier in the week, or if you picked it up just before mass, the idea is to come up here with proper social distancing, with your ticket in your hand like Mickey has right here, masked, as Mickey is masked, you should also be, and drop your ticket right in here into the box. If you need help, we'll have some ticket takers here to assist you, but that's not real rocket science. The ticket goes right in the box. Then, like Mickey, proceed once again with proper distancing into the church. Now that Mickey and I are inside the church, Mickey wants to remind you, as I do too, please wear your mask and wear it all during mass. That will be very helpful for everybody. Right, Mickey? Yes, I know you agree. Secondly, please don't congregate in the lobby area or in other places in church. I really know that you missed everybody and you want to see each other. Please save your hugs and kisses till later. You can blow kisses and wave and everyone will get the sense that you're happy to see them. One other thing I want to remind Catholics, you and I are very comfortable sitting in the same place over and over, right? Yes. We may not be able to accommodate your seat, so please go into church and take a look at how the pews are going to be set up for you to have a seat. Don't worry about where you normally sit. Now remember, we can only put 250 people in church, which is 25% of our occupancy capacity. So what we've done is we've closed every other pew so that when people sit in a pew six feet apart, they will have six feet between them in the front, six feet between people in the back, and six feet on each side. So how do we, how do we, how do we, how do we measure six feet? With this ingenious six foot spacer, invented by Mickey's godmother, who will show us in just a second how the spacer works. But here's one more important thing. When you're in the pew, don't put your purse, don't put other stuff in the pew with you. Put that at your feet so that we can have only people in the pews six feet apart. As you notice when you come into church, we have markings on the floor that indicate six foot social distancing. We're gonna use that even for communion time. So please note that where there are two sections, one section will go to communion first and the second section will follow afterwards. We'll no longer have two lines for communion, but one. We'll have three communion stations in the church. That will be very familiar to you. And you'll see that as you receive Holy Communion and you come forward with the spacing provided, 
The minister will hand you Holy Communion in your hand, will place it in your hand. We ask that you then step to the side, take your dominant hand to take the hose, remove your mask if possible, please. Then consume the host, put your mask back on and go back to your place. I know there are a few of you that would like to receive communion on the tongue. Uh, if that's so, then I would ask that you simply come up last in either the deacon or the priest line, and we will try to accommodate you. Remember, during communion, both you and the minister will be masked to receive Holy Communion. If by some chance you come for Mass and you cannot get in, you may stay outside. There will be audio provided, and we will still provide communion for you outside. The body of Christ. Amen. Remember, if you are at risk, if you're 65 or older, or if you're ill, or if you're caring for someone who is ill, please consider not coming to Mass. Sunday Mass attendance continues to be dispensed in the Diocese of Baton Rouge. If there's no ticket left for the Mass that you would like to attend, then please consider picking up a ticket for another Mass that weekend, or consider coming to daily Mass. 8.30 Monday through Friday, those Masses will also be live streamed and you don't need a ticket to come to daily Mass Monday through Friday. We will continue to live stream our 9.30 Sunday Mass as well. And if you do come to the church and you don't have a ticket or if we've already reached our capacity of 250, then you would be welcome to participate in Mass outside the church where we will have a speaker system and we will distribute Holy Communion to you. We know here at St. Jean Vianney that we're gonna learn a lot about this experience of being able to worship together in these new times. Mickey and I have talked about that quite a bit, but we're confident that with your cooperation and help, we're gonna be able to provide the most reverent and hopefully safe way possible for you to attend Mass. Thank you so much for being a part of St. Jean Vianney, and please know that you are very well loved and valued. God bless you.